So last night was the talent show, and I didn't get there in time to watch most of it. Um, I got there right at the very end because I was busy cleaning up the house and trying to rest a little bit before we went. But my daughter and I got there in time to watch the final act, which is the teachers and then my dad, who kind of runs the whole shebang, just keeps everybody on schedule and is overall, he's not the director, but he's just kind of the overlord of singing school. And um, they play guitar and they sing and one of the assistant director's husbands uh, plays the drums for them. And it's absolutely wonderful. They usually do three or four songs. And we've got two that they do every year that are just kind of staples for us now. It closes out the talent show portion. It brings us to the final day and it's typically a very fun yet emotional kind of thing because we all realize that this is the end of the week and Friday is the final day and all that nonsense. And um, they actually did a couple of new songs this year. So the head boys director, Chris, has a Kermit the Frog puppet and did um, the Rainbow Song with um, Mark Stansberry, who is our choir, our women's chorus director's husband. And if you don't know who Mark Stansberry is, he is an incredibly talented and educated man. And he and Nancy are just everywhere, but he's on the Grammy boards. He uh, has won awards for music he's written and a song he wrote and performed was on the uh, country and folk billboard top 50 or something like that. He called us one day to tell us that his song was like number six or some craziness. And um, their sons, Mark and Nancy have sons, and one of them has the Matt Stansberry and The Romance, which is this great jazz group. And you can actually find their stuff on like Pandora. It's just really fabulous. So I'll leave a couple of links down below and uh, see if you can get into the Stansberry clan's music. They are just phenomenal and they're phenomenal people. And so Mark and Chris did the Kermit the Frog song and then Mark had written a song and they debuted it for us. Um, last night and it was fabulous. They got um, a couple of people that were there, including myself, had our children. And so like my dad was singing and he went and grabbed Elena. So she got to sit up there and perform with them. And um, one of the other assistant directors has her daughter, her younger daughter was there. And then one of the girls I went to singing school with, they come up during the week and just like get a hotel room and have a mini family reunion and come to talent show night and all of that stuff because her brother directs the huddle groups and all that. And her kids were there. So they went up and sat in Miss Sheree and Miss Nancy's laps and just everybody got to sing. And it was absolutely just the funnest thing. And of course they sang a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young song and then they sang that song that we, On the Road Again, I think, is the one that we did final uh, song. And it's just, it's so much fun. And we enjoy it immensely, but it also brings the week to a close. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing. We loved it, but it's sad too. It's Friday morning. I just sent the girls off to their final day of singing school for 2016. And I'm exhausted, if you can't tell. It's just not, it's not a wake morning for me. Um, my daughter didn't go to sleep until after one last night, which is partially my fault. I started writing and had her laying down and just didn't pay attention to the time and didn't turn out the lights and make her go to sleep. But, you know, I wanted to hit my word count for the day. So there you have it. Um, 
my girls have been so great this week. I'm really proud of them, even though one of them is an extreme morning person. And I threatened to glue her lips together with glitter glue this morning. I didn't even open the glitter glue, mind you. But I had it by me. And I don't know why I had it, but I had it. And it was a good tool to threaten her with. She was quiet for like 30 seconds. It was blissful. But it occurred to me that singing school is kind of like Hogwarts. You send in your information, but then we sort you into houses. And you have to live in those houses with people you previously did not know. And you have to learn. We put you in huddle groups. You have classes. And you learn the magic of singing, the music, and Music has always seemed magical to me, and it's part of what makes the movies of Harry Potter so phenomenal. And so I think that analogy is pretty well done. Um, we don't have any evil houses as far as I know, but uh, technically Slytherin wasn't evil either. Just had people willing to pursue that course. But anyway, the final day has begun. Today I have to go with mom and drop her off about an hour away, an hour and a half away. Um, she's taking my grandparents to the city to put them on an airplane. And so in the middle of the last day of singing school, my daughter and I have to get in the car and drive her down to the halfway point so she can meet people and grandma and take them on over there. They're going to stay there tonight and put them on a plane at like four o'clock in the morning or some idiotic nonsense. So I've, I've got to take time out of the day for that. But as long as I'm back in time to pick them up from the pizza party, everything will be fine. Um, they do bowling this afternoon and then pizza party at five and at about 530, they will come back for the final time, change into their performance clothing, for the choir performances this evening and then we'll load all their stuff up and we'll go back to the auditorium and we will finish out the week with a bang and then I'm going to not go to bed because every Friday night of singing school after all the kids leave the teachers show up at our house and have a jam session because the teachers all play guitar and drums then they come rock out in the house and it will be a rollicking good time and I will probably not fall asleep while they're doing that but that's usually from about 10 9 30 10 o'clock to midnight or so they don't stay like four o'clock in the morning because we're all old I mean it's like my dad I mean, my dad's not that old, but still. <sighs> anyway, I'm just rambling on and on and on and on. I will try to get some videos of the teachers jamming out and post them for you guys, at least one, because it's fun. And I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.